Today we are, first of all, we're on the Skyliner heading to Hollywood Studios for a little rope drop action and then we're going to hop pretty early into Animal Kingdom today. I did buy Genie Plus for uh, the multiple parks this morning and I snagged a Slinky Dog Dash Lightning Lane for a little bit. Do we have to take a bus? No. Oh, to Animal Kingdom, yes. Later. All right, so we are 8.16. Early entry starts at 8.30. Park opens at 9. I think most of these people are going to the Rise of the Resistance, which, um, you know, maybe we'll do at another point in time. But I want to prioritize all of the kid rides for Sydney. We will definitely try to do Rise of the Resistance at some point, though, because it's an amazing ride. But we're going to do Mickey and Minnie's. Toy Story Mania, Alien Swirling Saucer, Slinky Dog, like I said, and try to peace out after that. Let's get in line. It is 8.30, they just officially opened the queue. I heard people clapping, and we are not in bad shape. Pretty early in the line, all of these people are just gonna immediately go in, and we've only waited just a couple of minutes by the time we got in line. And so it's so early, they're not running the pre-show, which Sydney loves. Ooh, but we still get to walk through it. That's so crazy. And it was basically, uh, we've just walked right in, so. So Slinky Dog just came up, but it's a hundred minute wait. <laughs> That's crazy. So I think we're gonna head to Alien Swirling Saucers. This is a five minute wait. are out doing a little meet and greet, but my little Juan wants to ride more rides. Sydney obviously absolutely loved Alien Swirling Saucer. She wants to do it again. Um, Toy Story Mania is still showing a really long wait, 65 minutes, and that's literally only because Slinky Dog was down all of um, early entry, and it just opened back up, so that wait should go down. I'm not gonna hop in a 65 minute wait yet. We have about uh, 40 minutes until we can grab or get in line for Slinky Dog with our Lightning Lane. And so I'm gonna use this time to go grab some Joffreys. I'm gonna grab myself a coffee. Uh, City's probably gonna get a donut. Just noticed they have this Round em Up latte and that sounds delicious. It has cookie butter syrup, dolce de leche sauce, whipped cream. Sitting got a vanilla donut with M&M's. I got a shaken Jamaican and I did add caramel because it is not a sweet and coffee otherwise, um, which is fine. I've had it that way before and it was fine with a little bit of creamer, but I did add a little bit of caramel today. Now we're gonna maybe see a character and go to Slinky Dog. I also used that magical extras card that sometimes they give you before your trip. Um, and you can get 20% off of Joffrey's too. So we got 20% off today. And here's Frozone. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible and then Sully, I think is down here too. 
I'm too excited. I'm not even thinking this about it. This is her. right by the. <laughs> And Edna Mode, Edna Mode is also, I think she's inside. We found Sully, he just came out. Are you so excited? Meeting Sully was, I think, the highlight of our, my trip. That was so much fun. Um, and now it is time for our Slinky Dog Lighting Lane. By the time we get over there, we can scan right in. Slinky Dog. Sydney's excited. Slinky Dog. Yes. Don't hang on to your hands. Slinky Dog's the fastest toy in this year. Posted 90 minute wait, and we we're gonna see how long Lightning Lane takes. All right, it took three minutes for us to just walk through the queue, and now we're about to get on. And he really wants to do Slinky Dog again, but since we used our one lightning lane, we're not gonna do it again today. Um, she wants to do Tower of Terror, so I just booked, oh no, oh no. I just booked Tower of Terror um, for in like 10 minutes, but she spotted some toys. I don't know how much that is. I guess we'll have to ask. It, I think it, does it light up or no? I think they used to light up, yeah. Um, we're gonna go do Tower of Terror, and then after that, we're gonna peace. It's about 10, oh gosh, you can't see it. It's 10.08, and we've done one, two, three rides. We're gonna do four rides, met character, and we were only here for, what, an hour and a half? I like Slinky Dog. Okay, next up is Tower of Terror. It is 10.19. We've had the best morning so far, the best morning and I'm so happy. Tower of Terror is showing a 65 minute wait and we will see how long Lightning Lane takes. You are about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of your imagination. She did it. We only ended up waiting, I don't know, maybe like five, seven minutes for that ride. Sydney liked it. I like it now that they've made it so that you go down way more than once or twice. We're gonna head off to Animal Kingdom. I'm gonna use the restroom and we're gonna take the Skyliner back to our resort, Art of Animation, and just pop on the bus to go to Animal Kingdom from there. So, what a great morning. It's only 10. 45 right now. Got some water. Took a bathroom break. The next bus to Animal Kingdom is at 11.30 and it is currently 11.25, so we took our time though because we grabbed waters for the both of us and now we have time to break down the strollers so we can hop over to see some animals. And just like that, we are at Animal Kingdom. 
it took no time at all and I think we're just in time for our safari landing lane. Oh yeah. We're very, very excited. I also just put us on the wait list at Nomad Lounge and I've never been there and I'm super pumped. And after this we have Navi River Journey Lightning Lane. right on Navi River Journey. 60 minute standby wait. So my goal here is to try the um, churros. I have heard they are amazing, but they do have some other snacks and small plates. And I also heard, so here's the churros. I also heard that they have kids like chicken nuggets and french fries if you wanted, but I think we're gonna just do churros and then a side of fruit. Um, I think they have a side of fruit I had seen online, but I'll ask. Sydney's gonna get a kid's cotton candy lemonade and I gotta peruse. You do? I don't know. Wow. I'm gonna peruse the drink menu. I think I know what I want, but you never know. What does it taste it's like? like it does? It doesn't taste like cotton candy? <laughs> so I got the High Tower Rocks, which is essentially a watermelon margarita. I was really craving it. Sydney got a bowl of fresh fruit, which she's already been working on. And our nice server just came and gave Sydney some watermelon because she wanted, obviously, wanted watermelon from my drink. So that was so nice. And we ended up getting the churros, and it comes with a vanilla crema and a Mexican chocolate dipping sauce. I have heard many amazing things about these churros, and they are gluten-free, so super, super excited to go ahead and give these a try. Okay, I have to say I love these churros so much, and I am typically not a churro fan. They weren't chewy. They kind of fell apart in your mouth. My favorite was the vanilla cream dipping sauce. Uh, the chocolate sauce was okay, but it was just chocolate. There was something extra sweet and special about the vanilla sauce and I do know that sometimes they have like a strawberry guava one as well. Um, I loved my drink again it was essentially just a watermelon mar margarita but it was nice and fresh and something fun to enjoy and relax. I highly recommend checking out Nomad Lounge if you are taking a leisurely day if you want a little afternoon break a cocktail or a snack um, you can watch the flotillas afloat by with some music and characters and I was also able to take the rest of my drink drink to go. Um, everything that we had gotten was around $40 and I chose not to use the dining plan credit for this meal and I just paid out of pocket. Oh, 
more songs to wait till party on. Swimming under a lucky star. Yeah, but you're exactly where you're. Beautiful. It's the tree of life right now. Sydney is still debating slash probably not going to do Expedition Everest. I've kind of pushed back our lightning lane for quite a while and she's been hemming and hawing over it. Um, and I think ultimately since she's kind of iffy about it, we've never done it because she's never been tall enough. And then the last trip we took, we didn't come here. Um, so I think, I think we're going to skip it. She wants to go check out some animals, maybe do this party. It's only a 10 minute wait right now. Um, and then we have about an hour and a half before dinner at the Rainforest Cafe tonight. That is, you saw a deck. Wow. Um, she has chosen Rainforest Cafe as like her choice for um, dining. I let her make that choice. And she's been wanting to do Rainforest Cafe for a long time now. So I think we're gonna go do safaris. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention Nemo, finding Nemo's Big Blue and Beyond was incredible. I mean, it's just a retelling of the Nemo story with some unique original songs. The puppets were insane. Like, absolutely incredible. Um, I highly recommend going to check that out if you haven't seen it yet. This is Sydney's pick for dining for tonight. She's been asking to go to Rainforest Cafe for a while now. Sure. Yeah. Um, are there the animals that you're gonna like um see? Mmm, I don't really remember. Because I hope I see the that the one that was like This is too cute. I think Sydney found what she wanted. You can get a bag of rocks for $10. Oh, the lighting change. I think there's gonna be a storm. This is so cool. You like it? Oh my goodness. So Sydney's gonna uh, go through all of her gems, her rocks. It was a bag of rocks for $9.99. Um, so that is one of her souvenirs. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, and since we're on the dining plan, we're gonna go ahead and choose. So Sydney, this, she brought us some waters. We both needed a water. Um, the kids meal comes with a drink, so she could have had milk, there was apple juice, soda products. And then for meal, um, they have a lot of options, obviously for kids, they're very like geared towards. Sydney's gonna do the Rainforest Rascals, so the mini, mini burgers. Um, two sides. We haven't had a vegetable <laughs> since we've been here. So she's going to do steamed veggies and she said applesauce. Um, and then it does also come with a dessert. So either an ice cream sandwich or essentially like chocolate pudding, like worms in a dirt type of thing. That's Sydney's meal. Now I could have gotten an alcoholic beverage, but honestly, I'm just so parched. I just don't, I don't want it. Um, and so I got myself a diet Coke, but if you're looking to get your money's worth, yeah, ordering alcohol is obviously the way to go because it's worth more, but then you also have to tip more because that your your bill would have been more. Anyway, Diet Coke and water. Um, and then for meals, there are many different options. I think I've already kind of scoured what I want, uh, but prior to coming here, since I'm sort of a picky eater, I like to go over my menus first so that I know I can at least get something. And I think I'm gonna get the Rasta pasta, which is sauteed chicken, broccoli, red peppers, spinach, garlic, pesto, alfredo. I think I'm gonna get that. You are so lucky. And I think it does come with a dessert too. I'm finding that I'm not having room for any of the snacks that I had hoped to get because I'm filling up on all of these meals. I don't know, I don't know. 
I really would need to use some snack credits because I have a few extra. So maybe tomorrow we will do an Epcot snack thing. this restaurant more than any other. She's so excited for her souvenir. She's so excited to do this little kids thing and the atmosphere. I got the Rasta pasta and this is a huge portion. It looks delicious. Sydney ended up getting the, the mini cheeseburger sliders which are a really big portion. It actually only comes with one side. I, I saw the number two, like your second, but anyway, it comes with one side, so we went with vegetables and apparently they threw in some oranges. Sydney loved this. All right, for dessert, Sydney got the lava mud, chocolate pudding essentially, loving the gummy worms. I got the gluten-free chocolate cake. Honestly, I am like too full. I don't even want, <laughs> but. This is what it looks like. Mmm, really good. But would have been $63.64 with tax um, for this dining meal credit. And then I'm going to tip her in cash. First of all, I am insanely stuffed from dinner. If you're gonna go to Rainforest Cafe, I'm just gonna say, okay, I'm just gonna say it. I think Disney Springs Rainforest Cafe is actually better than the Animal Kingdom one. It has a cool like ice room and a lava type room. I don't know, it has cooler rooms. Now, first of all, I'm out of breath in my watch things that I'm working out because we have booked it to a flight of passage. It says 80 minute wait. The park closes in about 20 minutes. So I figured we would just pop in line. We successfully rode Pandora. It was about a 40 minute wait and it was posted 80 minutes. Um, Sydney loved it, I loved it. I do get really, really motion sick and I had already taken Dramamine and I still had to close my eyes for about a third of it because it is so intense with motion sick inducing. But I mean, I don't feel sick. I took care of myself and shut my eyes, but it is so worth going to, I think. I mean, I would never wait 100 minutes for it or anything like that. And now we're leaving an empty animal kingdom. It's so pretty. I feel like today was an amazing day. We are having a resort rest day. We're here at the Polynesian. Well, it is officially our last day here in Disney and I cannot believe how fast this trip went by. Oh, oh. We are gonna hop over to Magic Kingdom later. We have extra magic hours. <laughs> 